Hi Capricorn. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. My name is Jennifer and I'm happy to do your love reading for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. I'd like to personally thank all of you that have already liked, commented, subscribed, and shared my channel. I'm amazed. I've only been on about a month and I just cannot believe the growth this channel has had. So thank you so much for all your support. If you haven't been here before um, and this reading resonates with you, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. If it doesn't resonate, then you can check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. This is for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, dear. <laughs> for August 16th to August 31st, 2019, for love energies. Uh, also, uh, I do use my pendulum to determine whether the card should be upright or reversed. And don't get hung up on the gender and astrological associations of the cards. Okay, I'll try to mention them, the astrological associations. But, you know, if I don't or if it's not the pers the sign of the person that you're dealing with or not in their chart, you know, no worries. Doesn't mean that's not the person you're dealing with. We all have all the elements and both genders in us. So, so let's get started. Capricorn, Spirit, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Love Energies for August 16th through August 31st, please. I already did a reading for you guys, and it got cut off, and I didn't realize it midway, because I didn't have any more storage space in my, in my camera. But I can tell you the Two of Cups was in that reading, which is pretty cool. We'll see what comes out here. Okay, let me just make sure of something. All right, let's see what we got, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. How your love interest sees you is the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Again, I'm going to go over these cards with my pendulum to see what position they should be in. That's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. How they feel about you, the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Fire Energy. Okay, and then the significant past that has led up to the current energy between you and this person is the Five of Pentacles, currently in reverse. And then the current energy between you and this person is the Six of Cups, currently in reverse. The action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period of August 16th through August 31st, 2019 is the Ten of Wands. Interesting. Okay, and then your advice in dealing with this person during this time period, Capricorn, is the Queen of Cups. That's water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, and then your outcome for August 16th through August 31st, Capricorn, is the Four of Pentacles, currently in reverse. And how you feel about this person, just so I have an idea myself, the sun... You feel about them like the sun, huh? They're your sun, Capricorn? We'll see what position that should be in. Your overall energy, though, is the two of wands, okay? Let's see. The sun, you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? All right, spirit. Upright or reverse the two of wands, please. The seven of pentacles. The Page of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. And the sun. Okay, thank you very much. So, let's 
see. <clears throat> All right, Capricorn. So your overall energy is the two of wands. You could be living at a distance from this person. You could be looking into your future with this person, making a choice. You could be choosing them. They could be choosing you. This is definitely an energy of decision. Crossroads, y'all, are at a crossroads. And like I said, possibly at a distance from each other. Possibly confused one or both of you, okay? How they see you, Capricorn, they don't see you as investing anything else into this connection. They think you, I feel they see you as having pulled away and are just not investing anymore, okay? And then how they feel about you, though, is the Page of Wands. They still feel something for you. They want a passionate new beginning. They definitely want a passionate new beginning with you. There's a spark there still, and they want it to flourish. They want to act on it. Current or the past energy that led up to the current energy between you and this person is the five of pentacles. So one or both of you is in each other's freezer, basically. Uh, you put somebody in the freezer or they put you in the freezer, but you're out in the cold or they're out in the cold. That's how you feel. That's what happened in the past. So I definitely sense a separation, okay? The current energy that is between you and this person, soulmate energy. The Six of Cups, you guys are missing each other, okay? That is what's going on right now. So you're in each other's freezer, but you don't want to be. You're missing each other very bad, I can tell. And this person is really missing you, and they want to come and un, un, uh, relieve that burden. There's a burden. There's a burden on their heart right now, and they want to release it, okay? So we'll find out if we can get more information about that burden and what that's the action they're planning to take towards you during this time period is to release a burden Capricorn your advice in dealing with this person is the Queen of Cups so use your intuition when it comes to this person you know yes I mean this is an energy of love so stay in touch with your emotions for sure but don't give too much away this cup is closed Okay, so that doesn't mean it can't be open. This queen loves very deeply. She's a very nurturing, loving energy. Okay, but she's, you know, like the king, she doesn't just like, she's, she's fairly in control of her emotions. She's not, uh, she's not in the reverse. If she's in the reverse, she's crazy. <laughs> okay, but upright, she's just, you know, she's in touch with her emotions. She's got a good handle on them. Uh, and she's also very in touch with her intuition. So I feel like, here you're being told to use your intuition when dealing with this person okay really tap into that and then your outcome is the four of pentacles in reverse this was actually strong in the previous reading and so was the ten of wands the one that i did that i had to sack so mad oh you don't even know i was pretty upset i was 30 minutes in and and then i realized that it had cut off and it was no good so anyway yeah, the four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to open up. Somebody's been closed off, and they are going to open up during this time period. Okay, well, at least that's what they're really thinking about doing and feeling pulled to do. You know, everything is subject to free will, and people can change their mind at the last minute, okay? And how you feel about this person is the sun. I mean, honestly, this person makes you happy or could make you happy. You see this person as... The potential for happiness i mean like the like legit like ten of cups ten of pentacles long-term future happiness the long haul um you could see this person clearly or you could be clear about how you feel but i feel this person you this person is like your son like you're kind of really really everything's about them right now for you even though you're probably not together you're just you're really focused on them i don't know you want happiness with them. I can feel it. Okay, so let's get some more cards on here and clarify. Let's see what else Spirit gives us. So, Spirit, please clarify these cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. In love, clarify these cards as they're laid out for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please.
right, so how your love interest sees you on top of that seven of pentacles in reverse, like you're not investing any more energy into this connection, is the ten of wands. Again, we'll find out if it should be upright or reversed. How they feel about you on top of that page of wands, the ace of swords. Hmm. They want to be victorious with you. They... All right, I'll come back to it. Significant past that led up to the current energy between you and this person, the five of swords. That's some, yeah. You got two fives here as the past. You guys were definitely having some challenges in the past, big time. The current energy between you and this person is the hermit, currently in reverse. Okay, the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period on top of the ten of wands in reverse is the seven of pentacles <laughs> that's how they see you okay looks like they're either going to be waiting or I, I feel like they're reassessing yes they want to release the burden but they're reassessing do they want to continue to invest in this okay maybe they're going to ask you if you want to continue to invest in this your advice in dealing with this person during this time period is the ten of pentacles interesting work on your pentacles capricorn capricorns are good at that aren't they all right, and then the outcome between you and this person for the time period of August 16th through August 31st, on top of the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse right now. You've got two fours on top of each other and two fives on top of each other. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so four is, is about stability. These are both, well, this one, I don't know if it's going to stay reverse, but I think it will. I think it will. It's about stability and foundation. Fives are about changes and challenges. Okay, so even though you were at the fives, it looks like you may be going backwards to the fours, which is fine as long as you can skip back over five to get to the six later. <laughs> okay, your overall energy clarifying that two of wands is the four of pentacles again in reverse. Okay, so let's see. Spirit upright or reverse the four of pentacles, please. The ten of wands. The Ace of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Hermit. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. One more. I forgot to get the card about how you feel. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Maybe I should have left that one in the deck. Upright or reverse the tower. Okay. So, yeah, Capricorn, you want to rebuild with this person. You guys had a tower. You had a tower moment. More, longer. But, so, yeah. This person may have caused something. Or, you know, the tower is really more like divine reset. But you want to rebuild with this person whatever was lost because you feel like you could really have long-term happiness with them. Okay. So Capricorn, how the overall energy on top of this two of wands, which is that crossroads, uh, decision-making time, looking into the future, maybe living at a distance from each other, but also the four of pentacles in reverse. So somebody is going to open up. Somebody is going to open up. Somebody that has been previously closed is going to open up. Okay. How this person sees you, they see you as releasing Capricorn. They see you as not putting any more energy into this connection. It was a burden. 10, you've been through a cycle with this person. Okay. And it's been burdensome and they see you as releasing that burden. You're not trying to feel that tower energy anymore. Are you Capricorn? <laughs> but at the same time, what the, I guess maybe they don't know is that you still want to rebuild the tower, but this is how you're coming across. Okay, is releasing how they feel about you yeah they still have some uh, some passion they still want to have another passionate beginning and these are both new beginnings this is a new beginning in passion and action taking action and and just it's delicious energy okay this is delicious energy okay and then the ace of swords yeah they want to they want to share a truth I feel like they have a truth to speak um, they feel for you 
that you stand for truth. This is how they feel about you. I feel like they want to be truthful with you. They want to have victory with you. A passionate victory. Okay. Um, this sword could also be used to cut someone out. But since it's with this page of wands, this is how they feel about you. I, I don't feel like uh, that's what it is. I feel like they want to be victorious with you. And they want to be truthful with you. And they want a new beginning with you, Capricorn. Okay. And then the significant events in the past, like I said, you guys have been dealing with, with the fives, okay? Five of Pentacles, that's the freezer. Five of Swords, that is just petty, pettiness, petty battles. Whether they've actually, you know, been real knockdown, drag out fights or even just petty arguments, or they could just be the energy that you guys are exchanging between each other, even if you're not even saying all that much, because swords are also just thoughts. They're, they're words too, but they're thoughts. And so, you know, you guys have been exchanging some petty energy, some egoic energy, and you're ended up with you guys in each other's freezer, okay? You're out in the cold. It's not, you're not talking right now. And that's evident because the current energy between you and this person is that you're both in hermit mode and missing each other, <laughs> okay? You're both in hermit mode, maybe looking in for that star and that lantern, trying to find the wisdom within and find the meaning of it all. But you are missing each other, and you are likely soulmates. Because that Six of Cups is definitely a soulmate card for me. You probably have some past karma, especially with this, with the Ten of Wands, because that's a cycle, and those cycles usually, it's, you have to go through those cycles. You also have a Ten of Pentacles here. But, um, and the Tower, you probably have karma with this person. But you're definitely missing them, and they're missing you, because this is mutual, and you're both kind of just laying low, Keeping it single right now. Okay, and then the action they're most likely to take towards you. Yeah, they want to release the burden, okay? Because remember, they they see that you've released. They think they see you as releasing the burden. They want to release the burden. And it's what's interesting is how they see you as the same two freaking cards, except that this seven of pentacles is upright in what they're gonna do. So they see you as releasing this burden and is not investing anymore. But they want to release a burden, and they're trying to decide maybe they still do want to invest. They think you've stopped investing, okay? But they're trying to decide whether or not they want to continue to invest, okay, during this time period, okay? And then your advice, honestly, I feel like, yeah, use your intuition, but I think you're being told to go for the gold, <laughs> meaning work on your coins. Maybe focus on you right now focus on your long-term stability on your own right now um is your advice or or your advice is just to use your intuition with dealing with this person is this person really going to be someone that you could settle down with and have the long the long term with but i really get the feeling that most of you that's saying use your intuition with this person but focus on yourself and your money maybe you guys have some money issues going on right now or you're working on a new project that could be very lucrative but that's what they're telling you to do focus on that okay because right now honestly you both are in hermit mode okay and that's when it's best to just focus on yourself and do you you do you they do them because the outcome towards the end i feel that this is more towards september towards the end of um august okay is that somebody, this, this separation that you guys have been on, this break is going to come to an end. Somebody's going to break the silence and they're going to open up. Okay, so that's your outcome so far. Let's get another card, another round of cards and find out what we can, what else we can get from Spirit. Okay, so Spirit, please clarify these cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify them in the order that they're laid out, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For August 16th through August 31st, 2019, in love. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 16th through August 31st, 2019. All right. Woo!
just want to check myself. Are they correct? I think that one's up. No, no, no. Thank you. All right. Okay, so Capricorn, how your love interest sees you during this time period. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Wands again. The Ten of Wands on top of the Ten of Wands. How they feel about you. The Seven of Swords. Interesting. Significant past that has led up to this current energy between you both is the Hermit. Currently in reverse. The current energy between you and this person the two of pentacles the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you during the time period of august 16th through august 31st is the magician mm, that looks like action to me um your advice in dealing with this person the fool currently in reverse and your outcome for August 16th through August 31st, 2019, is the Eight of Wands. Okay, and how you feel about this person? Disappointed. Five of Cups. Overall energy, ooh, hello, the lovers. Let's see what position these cards should be in. All right, spirit. Upright or reverse, the lovers, please. Woohoo, upright. Upright or reverse, the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Hermit. The Two of Pentacles. The Magician. The Fool. And the Eight of Wands. And the Five of Cups. All right, thank you so much. So yeah, the Lovers, somebody's gonna open up. We have the Lovers, there could be a choice underneath the lovers is the emperor daddy <laughs> so <laughs> that's delicious energy right there capricorn okay the lovers with the emperor yum all right and then how your uh love interest sees you yeah they see you as releasing capricorn they see you as not investing anymore you know if you've been through tower energy i mean maybe you may still have feelings for this person but you don't you're not getting a return on your investment. You don't feel like you are. So you're not investing anymore. You're releasing the burden. Something about this connection was a burden for you and you had to let it go. Okay. How they see you again. This is, you know, the seven of swords is deception upright or running away from some escapism, but it's in the reverse. So how they feel about you is they don't want to run. I feel like they may have been running from their feelings before. I don't know. Um, or there was some outright deception, some kind of, uh, lies or deceit or cheating even maybe in the past in the past or they were just running from their feelings or couldn't reconcile their head and their heart and now they are reconciling their head and their heart they feel passionately about you they feel that i mean these are not cups but this is still a very good card the ace of swords and the feelings they feel they want to be honest with you. I feel like they want to come clean about something, Capricorn. I don't know what it is, but they want to come clean. And they want a new beginning, for sure. These two cards are for sure a new beginning. Okay. And then the past energy, yeah, there was uh, definitely some, some petty, egoic, possibly argumentative energy or some kind of disagreements, uh, ener energetic disagreements or outright, you know, fights. That was happening with this person and you know you both ended up you know putting each other in each other's freezer out in the cold you know just this is poverty consciousness lack consciousness and then you went into this hermit this hermit situation that you're still in at this time so it led to a separation all this uh petty energy led to a se separation and then um but you guys are missing each other you're missing each other. You're still in hermit mode, but I feel that a decision is going to be made. Somebody's going to have to drop something. Um, 
I'm not sure, you know, what was getting in the way, what you guys, what the issues were between you. There definitely were some petty arguments, like I said, that ended up with you guys in the freezer and, you know, needing to maybe take some time apart to to just find the meaning of everything, think about what it is that you really want, that type of thing. But <clears throat> as you all are in this hermit mode and missing each other a lot, okay, you know, this is reprioritizing or... This is not an energy that can be sustained for very long. There was some juggling. Perhaps one or both of you were juggling before, and now somebody's going to drop something and not juggle anymore. So that maybe somebody's making time for the other, or one or both of you are. I'm not sure. That's kind of what I'm getting. Because you're definitely missing each other. You're both definitely not together in hermit mode right now. And the two of pentacles, like I said, it's balance, or trying to balance this way. But obviously, it's not being sustained. You're juggling and trying to balance things. Maybe needing to make a decision. I, I kind of feel like more it's a decision. Because this is needing to make a decision. And then I feel that this way it is, the decision is being made. Okay. So there's some decision making going on right now. between oh, For one or both of you. And it looks like it might still be this other person, Capricorn. And these energies can definitely go either way. You know, the, if I say them, it could be you and vice versa. So this person wants to make some kind of move towards you during this time period of August 16th through August 31st to release the burden. And, you know, they, they're they trying to decide if they want to continue investing as well. Okay, this is a seven of uh, pentacles is, you know, you've put a lot of work into something and, you know, you're waiting for for your payout you're waiting for for your return on investment and you know you're trying to decide is there one and do i want to continue investing in this is there a chance i think this person is trying to decide if there's still a chance if they can still manifest something manifest this connection re-manifest this they've got all the tools though then this is aries energy by the way you could be dealing with it i'm sorry it's not aries it's gemini or virgo because it's mercurial in nature so you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Um, but this is somebody having everything they need to to do it, to do something, whatever it is they're trying to manifest. So, yeah, they want to release the burden. They're trying to decide if they want to keep investing. And I think that they're realizing they have all the tools. They're going to take action. The magician doesn't just not do anything. He just, 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 just doesn't look around at his tools and say, hey, yeah, I got some tools. I'm not going to do anything with them, <laughs> but no, the magician's going to do something with the tools, okay? So they are going to do something, but I think that it might be more towards the end of August because I think they're still contemplating right now, maybe about the how. So maybe they know they have the tools, but they just don't know how to use them yet. They're trying to figure it out, okay? How they can come back, how they can make a comeback, <laughs> okay? Your advice when dealing with this person is, yeah, use your intuition. And I do feel now that I see this fool that this is maybe telling you that this person is someone worthy of a long-term future or that you do have a po possible, you know, long-term potential here with this person. And you're being advised to take that leap, take a leap of faith. Okay, the fool. The fool is definitely, when it comes to how you're being advised to with a person the fool is go ahead and take that leap okay it is a leap of faith especially when it comes to anything love any kind of love connection it's, there's always a risk you might get hurt you absolutely might get hurt you might end up you know regretting it in the end but probably not because you will have definitely learned something on the other side of this connection whether you choose to go forward or not you and if you learn something it was not a waste of time that's what we're here to do. We're learning. We're here to love. We're here to learn. Okay? But you're being advised to take that leap. Use your intuition when dealing with this person. I do still think that some of you should be focusing on your money right now. Maybe you're having some kind of issues or you just really need to be focusing on that. But I feel it. use your intuition when it comes to the long term and what you're thinking of doing with this person. But take that leap. I think that it's a, a solid risk, a solid investment. Okay? Your outcome, though, good stuff. Like I said, if you guys are on a break, it's, it's going to be coming to a close by the end of August, I believe. Somebody's opening up. The silence will be broken, and it's going to happen suddenly, Capricorn. This is very fast action. Could be communication. Could be travel. Somebody could be traveling to come see you or you them. But it is very fast, rapid action, text messages, you know, phone, conversation, email, whatever. It's, it is communication. Could be distance. 
but I definitely feel that it, for me, it, it's fast. It means fast. It means the silence is going to be broken out of the blue. All of a sudden, you're just going to get a message or something like that, Cap. All right. So that is, and like I said, this, this uh, overall energy clarifying that person opening up in the crossroads is the lovers. The lovers is an energy of choice, but it is the lovers. It's soulmate energy. So that's two soulmate cards that you have here. So I do believe you're dealing with someone that you've had a past with in this life and or previous lives. And it looks like it's going to be working out or at least, you know, getting closer to that towards the end of August. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed your reading Capricorn. If it resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you to all of you who already have. I'm super happy and appreciative of you that have been supporting me. And if it didn't resonate, please check out your uh, moon, Venus, and rising signs. You might find something there that does. And on that note, I will say goodbye until September. Thank you so much. Bye, Capricorn.